obviously, um, we heard about the punch that rocked black America. Um, the guy that punched him wasn't really from the New York area. He was from Baltimore. Now, this is the same guy who, that punched Tommy Sotomayor who was in Jamal Bryant's face. Now, I am not defending Tommy Sotomayor. Even though that some of the stuff that Tommy Sotomayor has done, you know, I'm not saying that there's some things that he deserved to get punched, and I'm not defending Tommy Sotomayor. But this guy who punched Tommy Sotomayor, this guy basically is a hypocrite himself. He has no problem of foreign owned stores who exploit your community who has sex with your aunt your sister your girlfriend your wife your cousin no he has no problem with that don't oh, know but he has a problem with Tommy Sotomayor calling these North American females these North American black women, the names that he calls them. Now, people say that uh, that that's hatred, but yet these pro-black back to Africa, they're a joke. No, I'm sorry. The guy that punched Tommy Sotomayor, he's he he doesn't care about the black community himself. He really doesn't. And it shows he doesn't care. And let's say if this race war did start, white nationalists against hotel idiots like this guy, he wouldn't stand a chance. And I think that two YouTubers, not going to mention their names, which I think that these two black women are discussing, but they're right. If a race war did break out, You hoteps, you hoteps will be slaughtered. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Now, smart black men have recognized this. And like I said, man, you know, with Tommy Sotomayor, he should have never went, went, went to New York or anything. Now, do I think Tommy brought this upon himself? Yeah, he did. When he talked about how famous he was and stuff. And, you know, I'm not saying that it justified him getting punched, but... Like I said, man, most most of them idiots, man, if they said they start a race war, they lose. In fact, they couldn't even handle the police. And we all know the, the what police have done over the years. You got racist police that have no problem putting hands on your ass. Well, some of them technically are we know but most of these hotel idiots they don't care about the black community if they did they would address the foreign owned stores that sit up and exploit your community but they're not, they're not going to talk about that oh no no but then again the black woman is God and she has shown you time and time again that she does not give a fuck about you. But you hotep idiots. Y'all been raised by your single mothers. To put black women on a pedestal. And these are the same black women. That have degraded themselves over and over and over again. And right now you got black women that. Of course they like white men which is nothing wrong with that but yet it's still these are the same women that want mixed babies <clears throat> these are the same women that have no problem aborting your baby 
they have no problem of this. Why do you think Serena, Serena Williams married that white dude? No, she wants a mixed mongrel baby. Why do you think Janet Jackson went out there and married this Arab dude? She wants a mixed mongrel baby. And your Krista and Karrison, same thing. These women have proven that they don't give a shit about you. But then again, you hotep monkeys, y'all need to learn the hard way. This is Carl Mitchell signing off.